We successfully recovered two terminated channels recently, and in this video I'll show you exactly what we did and how you can avoid getting terminated in the first place. It has to do with context and putting detailed information in your metadata. Let's get to the details. When you visit a terminated channels page, you will see something like this on YouTube. This was exactly the message that this channel, Antrax, and this channel, Prod by Go Glang, these were terminated and we helped recover them this way. Step one was filling out this form behind me that you can do if your channel is terminated. The link to this is down there in the description below. Put in your name, the email address you use to sign into your YouTube channel, the email address YouTube can contact you at, the URL of your channel, and most importantly, the description of why you believe it should not have been closed. When YouTube replied that they reinstated the channels, they sent us an email that I am paraphrasing here behind me. The key points are, YouTube is not the place for nudity, pornography, or other sexually provocative content. However, YouTube makes limited exceptions for appropriate educational, documentary, artistic, and scientific contexts. Remember I mentioned how top context is really important at the beginning of this video? This is where it becomes important. You have to be clear what the purpose of posting your video is and that it is not gratuitously graphic. If your video is flagged by the community, it is then reviewed by the YouTube enforcement team. And if your channel is terminated for violating community guidelines, freedom can help by escalating a re-review through our YouTube support team like I just described. For the two channels mentioned in this video, upon further review, YouTube determined that the content falls short of their policy interpretation, and they reinstated both channels. Any actions taken against those channels have been reversed, so there's no suspension or other penalty based on the original takedown. Now, this is where it gets very important. YouTube takes great care when they enforce their policies and they try to allow as much content as possible while ensuring that the rules are followed. YouTube's, YouTube asks us to take the time to post as much information as possible in the title and metadata to help them and viewers understand the primary purpose of each video. Please see this article to learn more about the importance of context here. Now before going there, these channels were reinstated because they had good metadata explaining the context of the videos that were originally taken down for violating community guidelines. So make sure in your videos that you are very clear in your title and if you do have content that you feel might be risque, explain how it is allowed and not gratuitous so that if your channel does get terminated you have good grounds for arguing to be reinstated. All this text is down there in the description below if you want to read it. And the here goes to this link in the YouTube help where they also describe the importance of context to make sure you get as much information to the YouTube team and your viewers as possible. The link to this article is also down there in the description below that I encourage you to read carefully. That's how we recovered these two terminated channels. Was this helpful? Tell me down there in the comments below about your experiences with terminated channels. Do you have friends whose channels were terminated and then recovered? What did they do? Share down there in the comments below all your tips so we can help each other grow together as a family, the Freedom Family. That is the spirit of freedom. I will continue sharing tips as I discover information about terminations and demonetizations and YPP suspensions. There is a lot of information that we need to learn and digest as YouTube is constantly changing their systems, improving their classifiers, and we also need to stay up to date to protect our channels and our investment. In general, only use content that you create or have full written permission to use on your channel. Don't just upload other people's content. Don't just think, oh, this is fair use because everyone else is uploading this content. For example, don't upload trailers. Don't upload cutscenes, cinematics from games because those are copyright and unless the game gives you permission, that's not your gameplay. Don't post it. Make sure you turn off the radio when you're playing Grand Theft Auto V or any other game that has commercial music that may be licensed for the game but not for YouTube and certainly not for monetizing on your YouTube channel. These are the obvious things that 
we all need to pay attention to when uploading videos and deciding what is appropriate for our channel. And it's also a good idea to ask a friend or email support at freedom.tm anytime you have a question, is this video okay? We'll happily answer that to help you keep safe. It's 5.30 a.m. local time, and it's time for me to get some sleep. <clears throat> Who am I? I am Papa George, George Sunpai, and the guy who's losing his voice. <laughs> and many other names that you, the beautiful Freedom family, has given me. I'm George, CEO and founder of Little Freedom. Where is it here? Freedom! <laughs> For freedom and the Freedom family and all the amazing people that are helping each other grow together as a family. Thanks guys, you rock, and good night. You've been watching. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.